delighted to welcome you here today. Uh, the topic that we're talking about is GDPR. So you've got to remember the context of GDPR. It's been introduced to try and harmonise European data law, uh, partly as a uh, prelude to creating a single digital market. So there's bigger strategic rationale behind, behind GDPR. And obviously, data protection has changed massively from back in 98 when the legislation in the UK was, was implemented. So it's trying to, trying to reflect the changes that have taken place in society. A lot of thought is required around the data that you're actually um, taking and then processing, and then the use of that data, uh, again, a lot of thought and consideration into, into the use of that data. The best advice um, to avoid a fine is to keep your head down. By, meaning, by keep your head down, I mean don't have a breach. What should organisations be doing to make sure that their, their marketing, their communications, their sales processes are set up and, and correct to comply with the GDPR to make sure that they don't become one of the next headlines? Is there was an organisation, I think it was a car finance organisation, that got fined by the ICO for the way they did their repermissioning. And I think it's because they made it conditional. When we first started the session, very few people in the room, in fact, zero people in the room, believed that they were ready for GDPR. When we asked them at the end of the session, 93% felt that they were better prepared for the 25th of May. As a business, we've looked at all the data that we hold, uh, where we actually hold it and how we hold it. Uh, do we need to keep hold of it? Uh, and, if, and if not, can we, can we dispose of it? And then going forward, where do we keep this data? You know, really all we've heard about GDPR so far is the nightmare side of things. You know, the massive potential fines, you know, losing your whole customer database. It's been, it's been that side of thing that's driven me to come today. And although I think we're doing uh, a lot as a business already in terms of data protection, I wanted to see what else we were going to have to be compliant with. And that, that's what's been most helpful today. I found it super useful actually because there's been a lot of discussions about GDPR within our business. When I look on the internet trying to find different sources of information specific for my business. So to have a panel of experts, including a lawyer and somebody who covers and is dedicated to the technology side of um, kind of helping businesses, making sure they're compliant, it was a fantastic opportunity to hear from, from different people, but also to be able to ask questions at the end and finally get some answers, uh, which I really needed. If you missed out on the opportunity to come today and to find out about the GDPR and all the advice that was given, um, you still can access the information online at heartoflondonbid.london.